Hi everybody, it's Tina Plackinger. Welcome to my channel where I read daily devotions to you from my daily devotional called Treading on Serpents. It's wee hours of the morning and I realized that uh, October 11th, 11th is here and it's a little bit long but um, it was something that I read last week and, and knew that I wanted to read it to you. So uh, sometimes, you know, time flies. The days can be longer than uh, you can imagine sometimes, but uh, it just seems like everything flies. So uh, let's see what's going on. Um, uh, just drama that I don't really want to get into right now because this is a lengthy, lengthy reading. And, uh, oh, does anybody know where Andrew Boswell is from the Deliverance uh, Ministry? Um, I don't know, he's kind of got a lot, he has a long name in his title. But, you know, he's been, like, missing in action for over two months now. And um, I have called his cell, I have texted him, and um, emailed him, and there is nothing so what I did was I went to the Rochester, Minnesota inmate roster, thinking that maybe he was arrested, <clears throat> and uh, he doesn't come up. So uh, then I went to the state, the Minnesota state uh, inmate roster, and he doesn't come up. So I don't know what happened, but he, he uh, carried a good message for a lot of people and uh, we need to keep him in our prayers you know I don't like it when somebody just disappears like that and you know what if I ever disappear <clears throat> because I'm in Harris County okay in Georgia if I ever disappear then please go to Swanee One's channel because he would call my mother and my mother would tell him the skinny of what's going on Okay, if something like that ever happened to me, and then he would, uh, you know, make a video about it. I haven't asked him, but <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sure he would. So, anyways, uh, that's that for now. And, um, all right, I start this with, uh, it's a long scripture from uh, Ephesians 6.12 out of the GW Bible. All right. This is not a wrestling match against, against a human opponent. We are wrestling with rulers, authorities, the powers who govern this world of darkness, and spiritual forces that control evil in the heavenly world. Ephesians 6.12 It is world news. Gangs are winning the drug war and drug cartels are becoming untouchable. No one messes with them as the weapons in their arsenal dwarf any border patrol and state police department combined. Sheriff's deputies and police officers are not trained nor equipped to even consider battling with them. I'm going to throw in, no, of course not. That's why they go after 62-year-old uh, uh, widows for their money and their vehicles. That was a side note. Okay. The success of the gangs is based upon their extreme training and survival skills. The cartels have their own army, and they also hire military specialists. They wear uniforms and combat boots. They drive all-terrain vehicles, climb walls, and know how to survive in the wilderness like Rambo. As young as 13 years old, a selected few go to a military training camp where they are taught warfare tactics. No stone is left unturned. They even learn how to cope with pain in case they are tortured by the enemy. These are drug cartels in their army. Okay. They are loyal, devoted, and molded into highly trained and specialized soldiers. My case in point is, we must be this dedicated in our training, even though our battle is spiritual. 
we must devote ourselves to learning about every spiritual weapon available to us. We should practice using them until it becomes second nature to us. Our enemies have placed the bullseye on us. They know that if they can overpower the way we think, they can break us. <clears throat> we must suit up in the armor of God and stand sober and vigilant to be ready to battle when the enemy attacks. As soldiers in God's army, we shall trample them under our feet. Serpents, scorpions, and gang-stalking perpetrators. This uh, thought for the day comes out of Jeremiah 2011 out of the NIV. Jeremiah 2011 out of the NIV. Today, the Lord is with me like a mighty warrior. So my persecutors will stumble and not prevail. They will fail and be thoroughly disgraced. I also want to uh, read out of the, um, I think it's the New King James. 2 Timothy 2 4 says, <clears throat> No one engaged in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him who enlisted him as a soldier. No one engaged in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life. Okay. We stay in the fight. We live one day at a time. We focus on Jesus' teachings. And together we can do this thing. Thank you for your comments. <clears throat> Excuse me, I read them all. I love them. And uh, I will see you soon.